Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Jess. Um, it's been a while. I have been recovering from surgery, which <laughs> is taking longer than I thought it would. <laughs> um, but I'm back up and working and doing stuff again. And so I decided to make this video for y'all. Um, I have been playing the Near Replicant remake and loving it. I don't know if I've mentioned this here before, but Nier Automata is my favorite game of all time. I love that game a lot. And I was super excited to get a chance to play Replicant um, in its new remake form. It's gorgeous. It plays beautifully. There's some stuff that's a little bit less intuitive um, than Automata, but I think that's because this game, while being a remake, is still of an older game. Um, and so, like, the items retrieval system is a little bit <laughs> different than what I'm used to. But overall, I've been loving it. I'm on part two. Um, I've been diligently collecting all my weapons so that I can get all the endings. Uh, and Kaine has been a huge favorite of mine. Uh, I love her personality. I love that she's the heavy hitter of the team. I love a lot of her voice lines. She makes me feel a lot of emotions. I love the whole Sundere, I don't care, I say caringly kind of attitude. And... So of course she's an instant fave. Um, but I, I hate her outfit. And I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, you just hate sexy outfits. No, you're wrong. First of all, I'm gay. <laughs> there are two wolves inside of me. One is a feminist and the other one is gay and likes sexy outfits. I love a good sexy outfit. I loved the outfits in Automata. I think A2's was less cute, <laughs> um, but hers made sense. She's been unable to have contact with other androids and get new gear, and so she just has her chassis and what's been slowly wearing away from uh, wear and tear over time. And so I totally accepted that. But overall, like, I thought Tubi's outfit was super cute. I loved it. I love the design. I love the subtle take on futurism. The more Victorian black and white subtle look, I think, is stark, in stark contrast to a lot of the bright, colorful depictions of the future we have. So I kind of really appreciated that. And I thought the outfits were cute. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> Kaine's outfit is, uh, I think I described it to my friends as, it's not even sexy. It's like Walmart sexy lingerie. Um, cheap, my first lingerie that you buy online or at Walmart or whatever. And I just don't understand it. I, I know, I heard, so I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but uh, Yoko Taro in his notes for designs for her said that her shade side had to be covered. Um, so here you see me covering her shade side with a glove and I even kept a lot of the bandage designs um, from her original design for her legs. And you can see them a little bit around the top of her neck because those parts cannot be exposed to sunlight. So I understand that, but apparently someone took that as only those parts need to be covered. And then, you know, voila, you get the the design that we currently have. Um, and I've I've voiced this opinion about it before, uh, like my my personal feelings on the matter. And my friend was like, "Dude, same." And he sent me some awesome concept art. I showed a little bit of it at the beginning, but I'll pop it up right here of some alternate ideas for outfits for her. And while I didn't really like the skirts because I thought they would really inhibit movement. I really liked the idea of choosing <laughs> a feature and going with it. So like, I'm not against like sexy features, uh, but like 
can we have like can we at least just pick one can it just be like tits or ass like does it does it i mean this video isn't sponsored so i can say that does it have to be both um and kind of lean into it a little bit like automata did where it was a very butt focused game it had a vision and that vision was butt shaped um and I, I felt like I would be okay with that. Just pick just pick one. Uh, but no, they just went for like the super sexy design. But I kind of liked this more Victorian uh, inspiration they had going for her. Um, I, I think it's interesting because a lot of these outfits are fantasy ye old, but from different time periods. Like the protagonist near, brother near, wears a very like, what you would wear to the Ren Fair, even though it's not Renaissance or medieval, it's just, like, fake that, you know? Uh, whereas Emile wears something that is more 1700s, and then it would be very interesting for Kaine to have this more Victorian influence. And I really liked that in the blazer elements. I think the bustle skirt would have been hard for them to A, animate, and B, it would have been inhibiting a lot of her movements so i kept the top the only thing i wish i had done differently with the blazer is added um a sheer lace layer underneath the lines of the blazer kind of a soft almost uh what would you even call that my brain can only think of like a, a handkerchief with a scalloped edge and lace that's kind of um, sheer to kind of give her a little bit more of a buffer from the bottom of her shorts and I think it would add another feminine touch because I know that it's noted that Kaine likes really feminine clothing um, and so I wanted to try and keep some of that with the bows excuse me and the color combo because I think that nice beautiful I think it's like a robin's egg blue don't quote me on that Sorry, I drink Diet Coke. <clears throat> the nice soft blue adds something to the contrast of her vulgar mouth, but her soft interior. I think that contrast is really nice. So I kept the blue because I loved it. Um, here, for some reason on my screen, it looks a lot more turquoise <laughs> than it does uh, in picture i don't know if that's because i have the um blue light filter on right now because of my delicate eyes but in in person or on my tablet screen and in the final result i think you can see more that this is like a soft her soft blue um and like i said i kept that because i like it in contrast to her character and i think it adds a lot more of a soft feminine touch I explained before that I kept the bandages from the design um, just because I wanted to keep her shade side as covered as it is in the original design because that was super important. I kept them on the neck, I kept them on the leg, and then I fully covered the hand on the shade side with a um, full opaque black glove where I had more of like a, uh, what would you call that? <laughs> Just like a extended sleeve um, on her other hand. I also kind of chose an element of um, what is it like? Like the I don't I don't I don't really really know what you would call it. I I picked a part of um, the outfit to be revealing, and that was the legs. So I kind of have these like shorts. I would say uh, that her blouse is tucked into. Um, I think they would be like kind of a leather material, maybe like a suede. Um, and then high boots. So her legs are still mostly covered, but you have that almost like same silhouette as uh, 2B that has, it's, it's like covered, but it's still like form fitting. Um, because, you know, I wanted to kind of do something that was like, hey, you know, you can still have a cute, sexy outfit without it being, like, 
underwear, literally underwear. It's so weird to me because everybody brings up that it's underwear too. I, it's, I don't know why this choice was made. Um, but I, it's like an ongoing joke and I'm just like, I don't get the joke. Here, I kind of added some detail. She has some filigree designs on her shade leg where she has like a wrap around it, around the bandages that's kind of like tied on. And I wanted to bring some of that into the jacket. I had played around with making a black lapel, but I thought that just looked way too modern. It just looked, it it looked like a, like a modern um, casual suit jacket. And I was just like, no, I don't, I don't like that. Um, I tried to keep a good balance of the white, the black and the blue, because I think her outfit what what there is of an outfit <laughs> in the original does have a good balance of that um i think maybe i should have tried to find a way to bring in some of the colors from the filigree on her leg but i don't know where i would have put that maybe in the jacket i also added the filigree where the collar is of the blazer and then the um ends of the sleeves as well you can see i added some they're supposed to be kind of sheer white uh, ruffles to the um, ends of her blazer. Those are the ruffles coming out from the end of her blouse and I wish I kind of put those under the jacket as well um, where you can see the kind of scalloped -y design that I it's like a it's like a ruching -y kind of thing going on down there at the bottom um, and I would have loved it. I, I didn't think about it until I was sleeping in bed. And then I was like, why didn't I do that? I was a fool. Underneath that jacket. I would like to say that while this is very... My friend said this looks very explorer-y. And I was like, you are correct. Um, so I wonder if I should have added more of like a bustle to give more of the impression of the Victorian element. Everything in this game is so... Like, you've got characters that look like they're from Ass Creed, and then you've got just whatever uh, Devola and Popola are wearing, and then you've got um, just a, a variety of array of different kinds of outfits. It just has to look fantasy enough, you know? And I mean, like, I guess I'm not, I don't hate it because Kaine's original outfit wasn't very ye old looking. It, like I said, it looks like Walmart lingerie, but like, I think I could have, I don't know, added more ye olde elements to this to kind of give the Im impression um, of something that's more Victorian than this. Um, because I know a lot of historical YouTubers would be like, this isn't very Victorian at all. Um, but I, did my best taking what I could from the design that I liked. Um, I don't know how the bustle would work. It would be so odd. It would be so bulky in the back. Um, and I think for a lot of the main characters, uh, Emil aside, <laughs> because he kind of is floating, but anybody who's doing sick flips, um, has has a more form-fitting outfit which makes sense to me because they y you you want to see their sick flips and full display their neat back flips and uh you don't want stuff getting caught on them although older near has the like little flap thing hanging dangling down from his pants i don't know what that is but i i mean it looks cool i guess here i you know this was really just about the outfit Though I wanted to have it some movement, but I uh, wanted to try and get the swords in there too to just get the overall silhouette of what this would look like. Um, but that was a lot, most of my thought process behind the decisions I made in this piece. Um, and like I said, there's lots of stuff I would do differently, but this was a fun exercise and like, instead of just complaining about something, why don't I uh, try and do it myself? <laughs> But anyway, outfits aside, this game has been super fun so far. Uh, a lot of emotions, a lot of crying. So be ready for that if you're going to play, but super fun. And thank you for watching. And I hope you stick around, like, comment, and subscribe. And have a lovely day.